Good morning, folks. We've got big news today. Super rare cosmic ray event detailed along with the cosmological physics disaster. We've got lightning, volcanoes, and bears. Oh yeah. Let's get started at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star almost looking like it's waiting for something. As calm as we get here in the expected throes of sunspot minimum in the 11-year cycle. Even the plasma filament activity is somewhat lessened in magnitude, even if some of the little guys put on a good show at the limbs, like this one, getting his roll on. In 211 angstroms, we reveal the large northern coronal hole and a small equatorial opening turning through today. Behind the bright active region, which still has no sunspots, there is another coronal hole incoming that's difficult to see behind the bright umbral fields. Folks, we'll get to the satellite lightning, but here's what it looked like over Vallis Caldera and Los Alamos last night. The storm did end up rolling down through the valley, but as the sun was setting, the display was all north. Using slow motion capture at only a few hundred frames per second, you can still see how many of the bolts are multi-strike events. Up here at a mile in the sky, we get to most often see the breakout step leader downward followed by numerous ground strike backs. You may recall that nimbostratus clouds like to stir up global electric circuit energy held in the leaky insulator of the crust, and once that connection by the step leader is made, the ground will fire back until equilibrium is reached. Let's go well north to the upper Midwest, where GO-16's eyes were trained on a strong storm system that developed to have tremendous lightning signatures within the core, and even some penumbra whistler lines around the outside, sheared away quickly. Felt like the entire southern half of the country was under monsoon potential yesterday. I'd like to note that Beryl is not reforming in the Atlantic as of yet, but its eastern convergence is producing an amazing lightning line that I'll zoom in on here. Up next, we've got a small volcano eruption in Japan. This is at the island created by the 2013 eruption. Meanwhile, Hawaii continues its daily releases. USGS filmed this incredible whirlwind coming out of Fissure 8, that's the one with the strongest flow and reaching all the way to the sea. I've sped this up and on their Twitter, the full event can be seen. Up next, folks, we already know that in terms of the constant bombardment of energetic particles from space, we have officially hit the modern cosmic ray maximum. Most of these particles are atomic nuclei stripped of electrons, but the rarely detected neutrino can be found zipping through there as well. She's just hard to catch. One of those free spirits did get incarcerated, however, in the South Pole Ice Cube experiment, and they were actually able to track it to a gamma flash from a distant blazar. These are the most active of active nuclei at massive structures like galaxies, and they traced that neutrino to one of those 3.7 billion light years away. Well, maybe. You see, the door is open on cosmology in a number of ways. You mostly hear about the dark matter fail around here. But now, with the most precise adjustment of Hubble's constant, the global science community faces a disaster. The new data is even further out of sorts with their model of the early universe, by the way. It's upon which their models are based. And in fact, the new data is described as an incompatible look at universal expansion in the early versus recent universe. Something is wrong and will change in a way that will alter science forever. They just don't know which way those dominoes are going to fall. Website members. Deeper look out last night on the cold climate trigger from earlier this week. There is now little doubt that we've got a future served on the rocks. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 4.05 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.